Hey guys, so this is the part of my collection of neck knives. Um, it's all the more substantial or popular ones. Um, I do have a lot more uh, kicking about, but they're off brand or as you might call uh, gas station knives, uh, as the Americans might refer to them. But these are the more substantial or popular ones um, that some of you might be familiar with. So we'll start with the Boca Little Friend Mini, which is by far the smallest knife in the collection here, which is just shy of nine centimeters, or just shy of three and a half inches overall. The blade is only about, it's just shy of about inch and a half, about 35 millimeters. It's a great little uh, thing for opening boxes, all the rest of it. It feels surprisingly comfortable. I'm yet to put a lanyard on the back of it. I've just not got round to it. But most of these, or all of these really, um, bar two of them, can't legally carry in England uh, where I am. So they are more just for the collection purposes. Um, I've got a, say I've got a cupboard full, just all hanging up. But um, it's certainly one that I would enjoy to carry if I was permitted to do so. Next to that, the um, same range, it's the Boca Little Friend set, but this is the Micro rather than the Mini. Again, it's very small, it's not quite as uh, sort of edgy and spear point, but um, it's a lot more comfortable, it's got the G10 handles and it, it does uh, give it a lot more comfort to hold on to. The blade on that is around 30 millimeters. Overall, again, just shy of nine centimeters or 90 millimeter. Um, turning the knife over rather than the ruler, that's a good start. Uh, it's about three and a half inches overall, which is about inch and a quarter blade. Personal favorite, hands down though. And then we have the Boca URD which this one is awesome looking but uh, as far as actual use or usability I think it'd be more uncomfortable than anything to carry uh, as a neck knife because these bits they do feel very sharp and very edgy and I could see them scratching on your skin um, you went to run at all you'd be uh, scraping all over your chest you can buy a different handle blade, uh, uh, the G10 on there, you can actually buy a replacement that has a loop on there to make it almost like a carom bit. Um, but it's reasonably comfortable to hold. It'd be good for sort of choking up on and everything, getting a few uh, sort of close knit jobs done, but it's more ones for aesthetics. It's, it's not really there for <laughs> functionality, I wouldn't have thought so much. On that, you've got a two and a quarter inch blade which is around 60 millimeters uh, overall of about 110 millimeters which is just over about four and a quarter inch one that has been carried by me quite a bit now this retention in this is <laughs> can be quite a pain to get out of there this is the Boca bore trekker which uh, is a friction folder so completely legal to carry in the UK uh, this was a Christmas present. Um, I've not had it very long at all, but it is a lovely, elegant looking knife. It just feels very comfortable to use as well. Uh, it is about two and three quarter inch uh, blade, which is about six and three quarter overall length. That's about 72 millimeters blade, which is about 170 centimeters, uh, sorry, 170 millimeters overall. Again, great little knife. It can be a bit of a pain to carry in there. Personally, I don't do that. I tend to put it in one of my um, pouches and just carry it in pocket. But the option's there to carry it as a neck knife. Another very small option. You've got the uh, CRKT RSK Mark V which is a Doug Ritter design. I do not like the, uh, the, the little sheath that comes with it. Um, it is quite a cheap plastic, but it is a cheap knife. Um, it's probably the cheapest knife on this table. Uh, it was only 12 pound to me. Uh, that was 50, 
that was 35 that I had to order from abroad because they stopped you doing them in this um, in this country or you couldn't go, get hold of them anymore they should be around 20 pound I think I paid closer to 30 and that one I think I paid about 20 uh, a few years ago but this one being only around 12 pound it's a great little option uh, it's more of a lanyard than a neck knife that comes with it um, but you can put lanyard on there and, and carry it that way but I wouldn't trust this sheath very much uh, the pins feel like they're ready to fall out I have seen reports of people having those break or the plastic snapping around it and coming loose so it's not the most reliable but for a little knife that's reasonably comfortable reasonably cheap it's one that you could sling in a little pack or whatever else sizes on that you are about three and a uh, three and three quarter inches overall which is about one and three quarter inch blade then that is 45 millimeter blade uh, about 95 millimeter overall again good little option but very very cheap now these two I'll show together because I did buy these two at the same time and I changed the handle uh, material over so it did come as an all black unit and then the uh, the, the CRK, CRKT minimalist uh, neck knives so you've got the uh, new cleaver style and the Bowie style uh, which is blacked out that did have the black handle the, the cleaver did have the green but I changed them over because I feel that they look a little better this way as far as comfort on these go they are the most comfortable knives to hold uh, to actually use for a small neck knife um, they come with the little lanyards on them but they you can just grab them so comfortably and they just feel great in hand uh, your fingers just form to it uh, I do believe this is more of a novelty um, I don't think you're going to get much done with that um, it's a bit of a popularity thing at the moment with the uh, the cleaver blades personally I love them uh, I do love the way they look it is just an orna ornamental piece for me um, I think this would be more useful as a knife but these do look quite uh, fetching uh, the sort of finish on them isn't um, amazing uh, but it, it plays in with the price these are around 20 to 30 pound um, depending on where you buy them from I think this one's probably 35 at the moment uh, as a sort of bulk that I bought them in I, I bought them with a couple of other knives and ordered them from America uh, so you didn't pay as much uh, you had to pay the premium of getting them through customs but sort of balanced out really then we have oh didn't do the uh, nearly missed the sizes on those so overall on there that's 130 millimeters which is a five centimeter or 50 millimeter blade that's about two inches on the blade and just over five inches on the actual knife itself I won't include the lanyard and then relatively this should be around about the same sort of size it is two inches on the blade just over five inches overall again we're just shy of five uh, five centimeters 50 millimeters but it's about 13 centimeters or 130 millimeters overall then you have this which is very discreet so this is the Kershaw AM6 uh, again I'm not sure if you get hold of these anymore um, it looks like a key fob so they work great on a key ring I've put a, an adjustable neck strap on it so you can uh, put it to whatever length you want it's a good little option if you want something that is discreet doesn't look like a knife um, again it's more of a little box cutter or you know let, uh, letter opener type thing it's not got much use that is a false edge along the back there um, I have seen people again sharpen those up so they can be a little more uh, useful for keeping a particularly sharp edge as well as one that you might use for doing boxes all the time whatever else that you find use for comfort wise it's not brilliant you feel a little uh, lumpy and odd shaped because of the way it's made but you are buying it because of the comfort for it uh, oh sorry the, the, the discreet style of it um, and then the last one on the table another friction folder oh again 
forgetting to do the uh, sizes of this. So that one is about 80 millimeters overall, which the blade is about 32 mil. That's about just over inch and a quarter blade, and overall it's about three and a quarter inch. And then last but not least, we have the Black Fox Scal, which I do love this little knife. It is great for, again, brilliant for like being a little box opener or whatever else, little package opener. But it's got your bottle opener on the back. And I know a lot of people give uh, give designers a sort of bad stick at the moment because everyone's putting bottle openers on everything. But personally, I love to have bottle openers. Um, I do drink beers that have bottle caps. So I always find it handy to have one on me. Um, but it's, it's a great little design because it's uh, a friction folder, it's UK legal, it's really, really small. It is deceiving because it looks like it goes in that way and I get it wrong every single time I do it, but it only fits one way in the sheath. Um, and it's the way that you, or to me, it doesn't look like it would go that way. I just feel like it would be that way around for some reason with the blade on the outside edge. But sizes on that, we are about four and a quarter inch overall, which is about an inch and a half blade. And that is about 40 mil on the blade and about 105 millimeter overall. But any questions about any of these gu uh, knives guys, just uh, drop a comment in the um, comment section below. I'm losing my train of thought and losing my wording here. but. Ask me any questions you feel uh, that you want to know about any of these. I'll try my best to answer anything. Um, they're all great options. Obviously, it depends on where you are, whether you can carry them legal or otherwise. If you want something real nice and discreet, um, something that's comfortable and actually useful, my personal favourite would definitely be the Little Friend Micro by Boca. I, I just feel that that is more comfortable than any. For a UK legal, the Boca Vortrekker, um, hands down got to be the best uh, sort of most useful because it's a full full size knife it is UK legal um, it's a great option uh, but if you want something that's just looks particularly nice there is the the new um, CRKT minimal, minimalist cleaver uh, it does have a very nice look to it but any questions at all guys um, leave them in the comments let me know I hope you've enjoyed the video I'll see you next time. Thank you.